This sponsored tutorial is part five of our five part host singer series. The playlist is down below. If you want to see the entire series, click on the playlist and see all five videos. And this one specifically is about setting up a VPS inside Hostinger and also all the options you have available to you inside the Hostinger store. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's get started. If you want to set up your own virtual private server, a VPS, you can do that inside your hosting or account. You just click on the servers link right here. I want you to note right now this logo on the top left says just hosting or when we click on here, it's going to change to hosting or plus. Well, I guess that's plus plus hosting or plus plus is the new logo up here. And this is beyond your regular hosting account. This is virtual private servers. The regular hosting account is a shared hosting. Even though it's really fast, it's still shared. This would be servers that are just yours. And we're blocking our chat because of an ad blocker. Didn't even know I had an ad blocker installed, but I guess I do. And here, the VPS plans, you can choose the one that's right for you. You can choose the smallest one if that fits your needs starting out. And you can scale up at any time you want. And you can scale up to eight core CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 250 gigabytes solid state hard drive and 12,000 gigabytes of bandwidth. So you can have quite a heavy duty server up here for $77.99 a month. To order or to open a server, just click on order and you can order for extended periods of time. You can order for one month, that's 10 bucks a month. 12 months ends up being five bucks a month, all up to 48 months, which ends up being $4 a month. And you save a lot over the long term. You can also choose the option of daily backups if you want. Set up and streamline your SEO effortlessly with this SEO toolkit. I would recommend that's not required, but it's it's added on here if you want it. More often than not, SEO is taken care of just fine with the free plugins you can get, Yoast, Rank Math, just their free versions. And lately, I haven't even been using SEO plugins on my blogs. They just write good content that helps people on topics that are underserved and you end up ranking more often than not. You can also have priority support. Click this checkbox here. You can enter a domain name to search to see if it's available. Let's try gogetem.com. I doubt that's available. It's checking now and that one's taken. So you got to find one that's not taken. Let's uh, do this one. Gogetem.online. Perfect. Continue to cart. Let's see if that takes us back to where we were. It does. That's pretty slick. We can also hide a personal info. This is free on places like Namecheap. Here it's five bucks a year. Namecheap will hide your info for free. And then we can check out. And this is a big bill, but this is four years. This is 48 months. So you're paying the whole 48 months up front. And you get a VPS, the lowest level VPS that you can get in Hostinger. And this is not for everybody. If you're just building your first website, you don't need a VPS. Stick with the regular hosting outside Hostinger. If you are building your hundredth website, you probably don't need a VPS. If you have a super high traffic website, then you might want to look into getting a VPS. Or if you're developing the back end of apps, you might want to look into getting a VPS. So this is for people who have very special needs because they have so much traffic and they need so much bandwidth for their sites and apps to work properly. This may not be for you. If you're in doubt whether this is for you or not, just contact the hosting or chat and they'll be able to help you figure out whether you need a VPS. But I'm going to say most likely you don't. And if you do need one, you probably know because your website is suffering from your server performance and you need a better server. And then the VPS is that upgraded server. I'm not going to check out here because I don't need a VPS right now. I've got some high traffic websites, but none of them need a VPS, just a good hosting account right now. And we also have inside Hostinger a store that we haven't looked at too closely yet. We, we glossed over it earlier. And in this store, you can add on things to your hosting account. For example, you can add a new domain name. That's kind of a given. Any hosting account that you add a new domain name. Well, not any actually, because sometimes your hosting account only allows one domain name. Hostinger allows lots of domain names. Unlimited, in fact, if you have the unlimited plan. Enterprise email and business email. We saw these in an earlier video. I believe it was part three of this Hostinger series. It's linked to through the playlist down below if you want to check that out. Basically, these are more advanced emails than you get with the free email, which comes with your Hostinger account. You can get a Google Workspace email. You can get cloud hosting and you save a bunch here with cloud hosting. This is probably the, the it's not the VPS, thought it might've been, but cloud hosting is just better hosting beyond what you have in your free hosting or account. Well, not free, but beyond the shared plan hosting or account. We can add Cloudflare protection, 50% off by going through here. So that's pretty slick. That helps you prevent DDoS attacks, which is 
distributed denial of service, which basically means a hacker or somebody who doesn't like you is slamming your website with fake traffic and your website goes down because the server can't handle the fake traffic. You've probably seen some websites you go to, I think Elementor is one of them, it has a Cloudflare check before you go and it says Cloudflare check or something and something something. It says something on the screen before the Elementor site loads and that's Cloudflare checking to make sure that you're not DDoS attacking their website. You can add daily backups. These are highly recommended. I love backups because I love having a way out of a bad situation. Your site goes down, all your site's gone or it's broken, that's a bad situation. Daily backups can easily fix that because you can easily revert back to an older version. So you can add daily backups to your account here or you can use plugins inside of WordPress to do daily backups as well. Shared hosting, that's the one we're on right now. You can open another shared hosting account. Here's a Google voucher for $150 in ads. Usually the way these work is you have to spend the 150 and then Google goes and improves it, approves your spend to make sure it's not somehow fraudulent and then they give you $150 credit. SEO Toolkit Pro, we saw this mentioned earlier, doesn't give us more details on what it is, but it's pretty expensive just for SEO because like I said, I don't even use SEO tools anymore. I mean, it's, good, it's good for beginners who are just starting out to know what is really required for SEO. So the free plugins like Yoast and Rank Math are great. Once you are more advanced, you know what you're doing. I don't think you need SEO plugins anymore. You just need to be able to find topics that are underserved and be able to write good content about those topics. And that's all you need. Here's 15% off what a graph data analytics to allow you to build customized reports and visualize your insights and hopefully make better decisions for your business. This would maybe be required for e-commerce sellers, but not for the majority of us. NordPass password manager. I use LastPass, but NordPass works just as well. Must be a NordVPN company because we have NordVPN down here as well. If you want your traffic, this is just you personally on your computer. So if you want to hide your personal traffic, i.e. the websites that you go to and where you're from, you can use a VPN like NordVPN to hide that. On a side note, you can also get the American version of Netflix if you don't live in the US by using a VPN. And there's the VPS option here. We saw that just a moment ago. And cPanel hosting. Inside of Hostinger, we have HPanel. We can add on cPanel if we want to. But HPanel works just as well, I find. If you go to hosting, we can see your HPanel by going to manage. And it's pretty much like cPanel. We can see, where is it? Somewhere it says HPanel, pretty sure. Anyway, this is the HPanel. It has a bunch of options to click on and do things just like cPanel. So they're pretty much identical. cPanel might have some more options, but HPanel works just fine inside Hostinger. If, but if you really want to have cPanel, you can get it by going to the store. It looks like it's even free or not a discount. Okay, so it's not free, but you can add it on to your plan if you want to. But I think the one that you get, HPanel, is just fine. And again, you get there by going to hosting and then clicking on manage for any of your websites right there. And this is each panel. And so that's all the options we have in our store to extend our hosting or account. Some of these might help you do exactly what you need and some of them you might not need. So don't worry about the ones you don't need, worry about the ones you do need and add them to your account if you need them. Click on go for it. It'll take you down here. Review all the material compared to other hosting plans. You'll find that hosting or hosting is a really, really good deal for everything that you get. If you compare it to, say, SiteGround, for example. SiteGround is great hosting, but it's also much more expensive than Hostinger. And here's a prime example. For the single website hosting plan on Hostinger, it is $1.39 a month when it's on sale. When it's on sale at SiteGround, it's $3.99. When it's not on sale at Hostinger, when you renew, that's when you get the renewal price, which is $2.99 a month. At SiteGround, it's $15 a month. So it's way cheaper. You also get three times the storage space. The same approximate number of monthly visitors. You get a free SSL just like everywhere else. Probably a Let's Encrypt SSL. Yeah, Let's Encrypt. You don't get the free domain or the free ads credit. That's fine. 100 gigabytes of bandwidth, managed WordPress, WordPress acceleration, two databases. I guess one would be for a staging site. If you have one website, you have the, the production site and the staging site, so you get two databases for that. Although when you use plugins like WP Vivid, you can do both of those just in one database. And then when you get up to the higher plans, the differences get even greater. For example, here are the business shared hosting, 100 websites. On SiteGrounds, unlimited for their biggest plan. 200 gigabytes of storage, SiteGround 40. Approximately one... 100,000 monthly visits, 
that's not very many. SiteGround's 400 for that level. And you get free email, free SSL, free domain, Google Ads credit, probably 150, doesn't say. Unlimited bandwidth, managed WordPress, uh, doesn't mention how many databases, unlimited databases right there, unlimited databases. But 100 websites is more or less unlimited. There aren't very many people that have more than 100 websites. And when it's on sale, this plan is four bucks a month. On sale on SiteGround, it's 10.69 a month. When it renews, when it's not on sale, this plan's nine bucks a month on Hostinger and $40 a month on SiteGround. There's even more features. Click on here, see more features roll out. Feel free to come here and check these out and compare it to other hosting, but you'll find Hostinger is great hosting and it's a really good deal. It's very affordable. So once you're ready to check out, click on go for it like I did already, select the one you want. Let's choose the biggest plan. I'm gonna choose 48 months because that's when you save the most because the you get the regular price when it renews. So it renews at $8.99 a month in 2025 if you choose 48 months. You save 75%. Each plan you'll save, but you'll save less. So pick the one that's right for you. You do have to pay the whole amount at once, so the total will be $191, but then you have 48 months of hosting done. That's four years. That's pretty awesome. You can pay with credit card, PayPal, and what you rarely see, cryptocurrency, CoinGate. You can pay with any anyone they support. It looks like Bitcoin, and I don't even know what they all are, but there's a whole bunch listed right here in these little icons, so I'm sure they support a lot of different cryptocurrencies. And if you're here when it's not the Black Friday sale, even when it is, actually, come down to the coupon, have a coupon code, and paste in WP Learning Lab, all capitals. I haven't tested whether it works on lowercase, but all capitals works. Click on plus and watch this price. The Black Friday sale gets you 191.52 over 48 months. Use this coupon that I negotiated for you guys. It's down to 178. So this coupon is even cheaper than the Black Friday sale. And it applies to every yearly plan. Maybe every plan, not this one. So it's every yearly plan. You gotta go 12 months, 24 months, 48 months, and you get the savings from that coupon and when it's not Black Friday, this is still the price you get even when it's not Black Friday. And when it is Black Friday, you actually get it cheaper by using the coupon code. So make sure you apply the coupon code. It's down in the description down below in case throughout this video you forget what it is. WP Learning Lab. Just pop it right in there and get a giant discount. And then you choose how you want to pay. You fill out your info and you're in. Next up, check out the Hostinger playlist right over here to make sure that you've seen all the Hostinger videos and you know all the ins and outs of using a Hostinger hosting account. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.